Byrne was founded in 1923 by Thomas Sneed Byrne, who was originally from Austin, but upon graduating from MIT, moved to Fort Worth and started his company. Founded in 1923, now in our 95th year. I had it at year 72, and um, we've had a tremendous, nice run for the last 22 years uh, with the company. The decision to purchase Byrne was the notion that I was then the executive vice president of Manhattan Construction Company and uh, had mentorship both from uh, my original company, which was Lindbeck, and then followed by Manhattan. And then, uh, believe it or not, four or five major subcontractors in the Metroplex took me out to lunch and said, hey, there's this construction company for sale in Fort Worth, it's going to be for sale in Fort Worth, and we think you would be great at it. We want to help you acquire it. Since we were founded in 1923, uh, Mr. Byrne knew Sid Richardson, he knew Perry Bass, uh, he knew um, Eamon Carter, and so uh, he was in that, that circle, and so he had the opportunity to be involved in many of the iconic buildings of, of the 20s and 30s and 40s uh, here in Fort Worth. So we developed a uh, reputation for high quality, high profile projects. So that's been very important to the legacy of the company. We have built the Bob Bullock uh, Museum in um, Austin. We built the uh, Museum for, uh, of uh, History for the state of New Mexico in Santa Fe. Uh, we built the Pier 1 building. We've done work for the Harris Methodist Health System. And if you fly to the DFW airport, we're responsible for many of your traffic jams out there. We began the transition uh, within our company about two years ago uh, as, as my generation of, of builders uh, were retiring. And, and so we moved to uh, Matthew Avila, my eldest son, who is now the CEO, and Paul Avila, who is the younger brother, uh, is now the COO. And then our president, is uh, a young man by the name of Martin Lehman, who was my first college hire out of Texas A&M 22 years ago. In Fort Worth, we're working on the old Sinclair building and converting it into a uh, Marriott hotel. So it's, it's uh, quite a unique uh, building because again, it's, it's, it's an old structure which is completely being uh, refurbished in the inside and, and brought up to code both in, in uh, and fire protection and mechanical, electrical, things like that. So it's always interesting to do something like that, especially when, when it's downtown and you're, and you're very compartmentalized as far as your staging is concerned. As I said, we're in our 95th year and we're on our way to, to, to 100. So we, we are the oldest active general contractor in uh, Fort Worth. Uh, so that will certainly be a celebration when we, when we uh, meet that date. Working on old landmarks uh, in, in the city has, has been has been a, a real fun, real fun. And, and one many of the people will know is the Montgomery Ward's store, which the company built in uh, 1927. And at the time was the largest square footage concrete poured facility uh, west of the Mississippi. And so Byrne built that in an amazing nine months and so forth. And then um, in my tenure, we had the opportunity to come back and, and convert it into high-end retail and restaurants below, two floors of parking, and then some really nice condominiums for the remaining floors up to the eighth floor. So we've now been uh, on that project from 1927 to, <laughs> to the years 2000.